Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of the weather for the early portions of Saturday morning. We again have some pretty quiet conditions into around the rest of the Mid-South for right now, but we may see again uh, the possibility of some rainfall in the forecast as we go into the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. We are live on Periscope and Twitter at this time, and if you have any questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section. Glad to have you along for the ride early this morning and again showing some pretty chilly numbers out there for the early morning hours of Saturday and also looking again at the possibility of some pretty cool numbers over the next several days as we see again the possibility of some more areas of showers and possibly some thunderstorms out there maybe way on down the line but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Currently again in the Mid-South it's pretty chilly also pretty dry for right now maybe seeing times change on that, but we'll talk more about that in the complete forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Welcoming in all of our Facebook friends for right now, Periscope and Twitter, you're watching on my com the computer, and Facebook, you're on the iPhone. So I may be developed kind of splitting my view between looking up here and looking down here, but I'm trying to aim the camera in the general direction right here so everybody can see a little bit more as to what's going on. Got comments about the forecast. Again, whether you like cold or not, a lot of people in the early morning hours of about 8 o'clock on our main Facebook page, WRAG, expressed a distinct opinion that they did not like the colder weather going on. And if that's the case, let us know. Let us know what the weather's like in your location, wherever you happen to be moving in from. If you're watching on Periscope and Twitter, blue line at the bottom of your screen is, again, the forecast out there. And, of course, we have tons of weather information to talk about for the rest of the morning. So we'll go ahead and get started with this. Again, if you're just tuning in and joining us, this is what we usually do, give you sort of a nutshell forecast so you can see a little bit more about what to expect for the rest of the day. Kind of just a generic wrap-up as to what's going on. And the main thing we've got for today is a new cold front. Now you're looking at the icons here and you're saying, okay, great, I don't see anything in the way of rain or snow or anything else. That's because we're not going to get anything. The front, as it makes its way through the area, if the front is the controller, it's surrounded on all sides by dry air, so we're not getting anything in the way of moisture out of this. Maybe a few clouds out there for the rest of the day. The main thing we're going to be looking for is, again, the wind switching around back toward the north and from the west. Diane Etheridge, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Cold in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Let me see who that was. Scrolling by too quickly here for this morning. Megan Walker Foster, thank you very much. And Hall Sarah, welcome to the show and good morning to you as well. No check-ins just yet on Periscope. We hope to get a few more people on there as well. Rest of the day, chilly, dry, and breezy. That's going to be the main thing that we're going to be looking for for the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is what you're going to be having to deal with out across much of the Mid-South as we look for some fairly quiet conditions out there right now. View from out east into and around the area. Well, let's see, that shouldn't have worked. Hang on one second. There we go. Purchase knob from Great Smoky Mountains. These things are great for getting the forecast done, but they eat up battery power like you would not believe. So a little difficult to kind of keep these things working here. So we may see some herky-jerky uh, weather uh, graphics behind me for right now. So apologies in advance for the technical difficulties. Snow below, mostly overcast skies above from Purchase Knob in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. A little bit farther out west around old, the Old Faithful Geyser. In Yellowstone this morning, a little bit more haze, but some blue skies out that direction. And looking back toward the area around D.C., the Washington Monument, the Capitol building out there someplace, drizzly, foggy, snow several thousand feet up, rain down toward the surface, and looking across the Potomac River, kind of a foggy and fairly drizzly morning in and around the D.C. area. Courtesy, these last three cameras are courtesy of the National Park Service's webcams. They have dozens of them out across the continental United States and beyond. And if you like to see more about them, all you have to do is follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter or follow the hashtag Opt outside, OPT outside. Great opportunity to learn more about getting outside, getting some more exercise out across the area, and finding out more about what your national parks have to offer. This is the National Mall Cam. Right back behind me right now, this is our cotton exchange camera. Barge making its way upstream on the Mississippi River, East Arkansas, West Tennessee, looking off toward North Mississippi out in the distance. Blue skies, and again, no major problems being seen for this morning. Traffic at this time, a little bit thick early this morning around the I-4 40 Sycamore View exit, and then looking back up toward the flyover area, we're not seeing anything in the way of slowdowns, but some pretty active travel. A lot of people out and about for this morning, early on Saturday so far. 
uh, Adria Roberts and Candy Tippett. Welcome from Olive Branch, and Adria Roberts from Earl, Arkansas. Sorry to get so close to the camera, but my bifocals kind of require that, unfortunately. Looking back toward Germantown and around the area of Poplar Pike and Germantown, right around the railroad tracks, sitting on top of the water towers north of Germantown High School. Germantown Weatherbug City Hall camera looking off toward the towers of East Memphis. Still below freezing, fairly breezy winds, still out of the southwest, and wind chills back in the lower to mid 20s so far this morning right at freezing on a very quiet old miss campus last day of finals was yesterday so the campus this morning, much more quiet in Oxford, Mississippi, but blue skies and plenty of sunshine out across the Mid-South for today. Airport camera, thank you News Channel 3 engineering staff for getting this fixed and ready to go. We've got, again, quiet conditions out there and not showing any problems with any travel delays showing up here so far. Again, delays of 15 minutes or less, that's represented by the green icon other delays up here, but we're not seeing anything at this time. And so far across the continental United States, we don't have much of anything happening at this point. We do have snow, Teterboro, LaGuardia, Newark, Washington, D.C., and also a little bit of snow showers earlier this morning in and around the area of Atlanta, but that seems to be clearing up. Green icons for now, good travel conditions for the time being. This weekend could be pretty busy, so we'll keep you updated on that. If you'd like to keep up to date on this yourself, go to wreg.com slash weather for more details on that or follow the website fly.faa.gov. This is where we get all this information from, directly from the Federal Aviation Administration. One other thing to notice is that around Los Angeles, it's very calm, cloudy for the most part, good travel for right now. Because of those Santa Ana winds and the fires out there, again, a lot of them uncontained at this time, smoke and visibility could slow things down around Los Angeles or San Diego. So if you're heading west later on today, something to keep an eye on if you are going to be heading that way. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, little if anything showing up uh, at this time. So we're seeing, again, little if anything in the way of problems where it comes to uh, rainfall out there. Diane Etheridge, any news about the tugboat, uh, the one that sank in the Mississippi River yesterday? Yes, we covered that on News Channel 3 Daybreak. I don't have the particulars here this morning, but there's plenty of information on our website. And, of course, we'll cover more about that coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. So stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the area, again, little, if anything, going on where we are. A storm system over the Great Lakes is spinning up some snow showers here. Notice the counterclockwise rotation. That's an area of low pressure into and around the area of southern parts of Lake Michigan. Let's see who we got here. Uh, Kaibon Dizio? Kibon Dizio on on uh, Inst or pardon me, on Periscope. Thank you very much for joining us there. We see again the snow showers making their way all the way down to around Louisville, Bowling Green, into around just to the east of Paducah, picking up a few light showers, and that's our front that's going to be making its way through the Mid-South area in the next few hours. In the meantime, back toward the east of us, plenty of rain and snow showers up and down the east coast from Atlanta down to about Florida, and then that goes all the way back up to around the tri-state area for this morning in to around close to New England and also right around Washington, D.C., where we see again some areas of showers. Hang on just one second. I'm not done with you yet. Thank you. Again, cranky computer. Sorry about that. We work on these things, if at all possible. Uh, right now, again, showing little, if anything, but rain and snow showers right around the D.C. area, as you saw on our uh, camera from the National Park Service right there. Not causing any slowdowns at this time, but could be some delays on the roadways, and especially if you're heading anywhere between Norfolk back to around D.C., Baltimore, and upwards to Philly around New York and Boston. Could be some delays coming up throughout the course of the rest of the morning. Temperatures here in the Mid-South, live real-time information. You notice the winds and the temperatures changing from time to time. Up to the second weather information from WeatherBug, and you can access this information through the WeatherBug system available on our computers. All you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather to access this. Lower 30s right now. These are the warmest numbers across the Mid-South. Winds are still out of the southwest at this time. But we may see, again, uh, the potential of some winds switching from the southwest as we go throughout the rest of the morning to the northwest for later on. That's that front that's going to be coming through the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day. So by this afternoon, winds a little stiff, about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Combine that with temperatures in the high 30s to the lower 40s, maybe a few mid-40s out there for the metro and northern Mississippi. Think about wind chills throughout the rest of the day around 30 degrees 
in some areas, even into the 20s briefly as those winds gust higher than 15 miles per hour. So again, think about that for anything outdoors. Now we should see mostly sunny skies today, clouds back to the east of us, but beyond that we're not picking up too much of anything there in the way of rainfall and getting into early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. Temperatures briefly drop into the 20s and the lower 30s out there, so something would be a uh, very chilly day coming up there. Candy tippets, snow for Christmas, yes it would be nice, but I'm not going to be able to tell you about that as that's a little bit too far in advance. Odds of having a white Christmas around here, you have about a 3% chance of actually getting a white Christmas. Statistically, taking all the numbers over the last about 125 years, 150 years uh, around this area of the country, we don't have good odds for that to begin with because we're so far south. So about a 3% chance, and that's about as good as it gets. So if you'd like to know more about that, I'll post more odds on that coming up later on my Facebook and Twitter pages if we can get that from the National Weather Service. Later on today, temperatures again back in the mid-40s at best. That's as warm as it gets today. A little bit on the breezy side. And temperatures tomorrow may increase by just a little bit, looking very nice as we go into Monday. Temperatures just above normal for this time of the year. We've been below normal for the last few days, getting into the lower 60s as we head toward Monday with a few clouds out there. Now, we have a series of cold fronts coming on through. As one viewer said on our main Facebook page today on the weather video that I did about an hour ago, uh, doesn't look like a cold front at this time. There's no storms, there's no rainfall, anything like that. No, there's not. The cold front's going to be moving through very very dry air. So we'll go from the 60s on Monday back to the mid 40s on Tuesday. But once again, we're not seeing anything in the way of rain, snow, thunderstorms, anything like that. We'll warm up back again to the lower 50s on Thursday. Another cold front comes through back about Friday. And then we warm back up again toward about next Sunday when another cold front is expected. This one may actually have some moisture with it. It doesn't look like much at this time, but we may actually see a little bit of some rain showers by late next Sunday. And and into early on Monday. Now, a couple of things about this, a couple of uh, conditional phrases on here. This is, again, a 10-day forecast, so by the time you start getting out to this area of the forecast, it's more of a suggestion than a rule about what we're looking for on the temperatures as they can change one direction or the other. Getting into that, you know, that taken into account, as we go into the next several days, we're looking at some fairly mild temperatures and, again, some rainfall chances, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens here over the next few days. So this, again, more of a suggestion than anything else. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. So far, what we do know is that it appears to be too warm for anything but rainfall, and it does not appear to be anything in the way of severe weather for now. Keep in mind that we are in that second severe weather season of the year between about early October through about late December. So at this time of the year, we can get some really nasty storms coming through here, and that could be a good time frame for that. So once again, it's not a guarantee, but it's a good idea as to something that might be coming our way. This is changeable. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3. The one thing you can depend on is we will keep you updated as to what's going on out there when it comes to the changeable weather. Don't forget about our forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. If you can't watch on your computer or on TV, dial us up when you're driving around the Mid-South and we'll keep you updated on the radio. And I'll be back on with Bob and Josh on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio coming up bright and early Monday morning. Now, some more fun stuff out there. Thanks to everybody for sending in some great pictures. Lisa Cromwell, I'm assuming that's Madison, Alabama, as that's where some of the heaviest snow came down. If there's a Madison, Mississippi that got some snowfall, I apologize for the mix-up in the location, but thank you very much for a snow-covered house right there. And a view from 4 o'clock yesterday morning on I-55. Thanks a lot to Christopher Smith from Canton, Mississippi, driving back to Memphis and catching a lot of snow coming down in the headlights. So thank you very much for a nice view. Happy ending to the story. He made it back to Memphis with no problem, so thank you very much there. Savcap123, beautiful sunset on Friday. Thank you very much uh, for sharing that one out that direction. And from my co-anchor on Daybreak, Nina Harrelson, a great view of sunset last night just south of the Ornamental Metal Museum. Uh, thanks uh, for see go and see go and titilto number three uh thank you very much for coming on through on periscope thanks a lot for joining us there 
can't read the very small typeface. The uh, bifocal is not really working too much at this time. Ruth Wilhoyt Rogel from Decatursville, 32 degrees this morning. Thank you very much. And Candy Tippett, thank you very much. We'll try to have a nice weekend here, a little busy doing things here at the station, but we'll keep you updated on what's going on uh, in and around the Mid-South as well. Again, thanks to my co-anchor, Nina Harrelson, for a great picture there. If you've got web pictures, weather pictures out there on the web, we want to see them. Let us know, and we'll be glad to bring us uh, all of your pictures out to everybody else. So send them to me, aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, on Instagram, aonic no underscore necessary, WREG, and on my main Facebook page. Some of you are watching it on this right now at Austin Onic WREG, and you can join me for more information there. And if you've got pictures, again, please send them along. We'd love to know more about what it is that you're seeing out there into and around the area. Ronnie Tippett from Olive Branch. Uh, see. Candy Tippett's Pack Mule and Husband. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ronnie, for joining us for this morning. And thanks to everybody on Periscope for joining us so far and keeping an eye on things. Who else do we have here for right now? Uh, let's see, Go and Teato 3. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I already said your name. Not too sure on that. Rest of the weekend, again, looks pretty quiet. We shouldn't have too much to worry about in the way of problems. But as we go into the next couple of days, things are going to be changing, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have an update on your forecast coming up tonight on about News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, depending on when football comes to an end. And, of course, I'll be on bright and early tomorrow morning with News Channel 3 Daybreak, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, if you're watching on Periscope, Open Twitter. You can get, again, my email address. Let me see if I'm pointing the right way. Uh, right there, you can see my email address. That's austin.onic at wreg.com. And if you're watching on Facebook, I'm sorry, I don't have that posted right there, but you can reach me through this website at wreg.com slash weather if there's anything you'd like to pass along. If there's something on here you'd like to see, more climate data, river information, uh, more pictures from around the world, we can do all of that, but we can't do anything if you want to see it on here if you don't let us know. So please do us a favor and get Give us an idea as to what you would like to see on here. This is your video weather blog. So if there's something on here you'd like us to, to present, please let us know, and we'll do our best to get it on here as soon as we possibly can. That'll do it for right now. Got to wrap things up so we can get ready for later on tonight. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online. And, of course, stay tuned for more forecast data on my Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope pages. And thanks for joining us for early Saturday morning.